Hey guys, my name's Ian, and today we're going to be talking about this guy, the Apple Watch Ultra. So, if you saw previous videos I made, we've talked about the Apple Watch Ultra and why I personally love it. But, I don't know if I mentioned this, but another reason why I love it is the compatibility with our old Apple Watch bands. Because I myself have developed quite a bit of a collection. Now, when we first heard rumors about the Apple Watch Ultra, we were hearing it might not work with old bands. And I was very upset because this is a lot of bands. A lot of bands. Now, while some of them I have gotten bundled with previous Apple Watch models, there are others that I've gone out and spent money on because when Apple releases a color you really like, if you don't get it, there's a hard chance they'll ever come out with a similar color. And I have missed out on a few. But I don't feel like spending a boatload of money to get a band that I would wear, but for that price, it's almost like, why? Now, personally, I have five different band styles, and I'll throw it up here on the screen as, personally, I track all my Apple Watch bands through Band Barrette. I'm probably butchering that, but it's an app that allows you to track all your Apple Watch bands, put some in your wish list if you want to potentially buy them in the future, as well as see previous bands and that are no longer available. So, we're going to start off real simple. The one that came in the box with my Apple Watch Ultra. Personally, I chose to go with the Starlight Alpine Loop. I love the color. It's really a great combo. Um, it really complements the natural titanium color. Um, you just slide it in. Top and bottom and it has a nice G-hook to keep it secure, which the Alpine Loop was designed to go climbing, and personally, I love the fact that you don't have to worry about this coming off, because that's not going to happen. So, next up, we have the Nike Bands. So, we're going to break the Nike Bands up into regular Nike Sport Bands, as well as Nike Sport Loops. So, personally, I have a fair share of Nike Sport Bands, as they make up my collection. And I'm not ashamed of this. I mean, I am a little. I am a little bit. Because there's a lot of Nike sport bands here. These are them. So, starting with this one is the black slash anthracite. Then we have the gym red crimson, bright crimson. Then we have the obsidian mist. Then we have obsidian mist and black. Chlorine blue and green glow, which personally, hands down, one of my favorite, if it will focus. Um, personally, one of my favorite. And then we go to Pure Platinum slash Black, which is simple, great band. Then we have Midnight Navy, Mystic Navy, just blue on blue, another favorite one of my bands. And then we have Black slash Lime Blast, which gorgeous color, gorgeous color combo, either two. Now, for Nike Sport Loops, I have three. I have a total of three. Sport Loop aren't my most favorite bands, but they're pretty nice. I like them. I do have a fair share of them in my collection, but I only got three. They're very simple. So we have a solid black one, which does have a reflective property. So if we take a flashlight, you could see how reflective it is, and it was designed with runners in mind. So if they're running, they don't get hit by a car, and you could be seen. So then we have two regular Nike bands. So we have the Nike Summit White, as well as the Black. So, if you open these bands up, in each of them, they say Nike, 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 as well as have the Nike swoosh on it. So when you're wearing it, the Nike swoosh can be seen, or the word Nike can, depending on how big or small your wrist is. So the bigger your wrist is, the more part of Nike you see, the smaller your wrist is, all you'll see is the swoosh. Now, regular sport bands, OG sport bands. Now, if you have an Apple Watch, these are the, probably the bands you have, because if you're not crazy like me and buy 75 different Apple Watch bands, but, you know, it's okay. We all have our unhealthy habits. So I have a total of four simple colors, um, one in each almost like staple color. So we have white, which I'm very happy Apple reintroduced this year with the Series 8. It's just a very simple white, solid color band. Then we have, hands down, one of my favorite, Surf Blue. Um, it's a nice blue color. It's really a gorgeous blue. And then we have Product Red. I believe this is the fifth generation Product Red band. It's red. You know, you can't go wrong with a red band, in my opinion. As someone who wears red, you know, my Apple Watch bands have to match my outfits. You know? 
Let me know if you feel the same way with a comment down below. And then we also have Midnight. So this is a simple black, like kind of a navy almost, although a very, 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 very small hint of navy. But a simple black band is also good because you never know when you're going to need a simple black band. Now, getting to the last bit of bands I have, which really, as I'm now making this video, I realized basically can be broken down into three different categories because I have sport bands, sport loops, and an alpine loop because the Nike sport bands, while they do have the holes and perforations in them, they're still sport bands. So for my regular sport loops, we have a total of three. Um, we have a nice product red one, which I believe is the second gen. Um, it's a nice red, and then when you open it, it has a nice like maroon inside. So when you're wearing it, you can kind of get that two-tone look, which I think is pretty cool. As nowadays, Apple's gotten rid of that two-tone look, and they've kind of just embraced the ability to print different colors on, which I'm okay with that. You know, I'll, I'll take something different. Then we have the USA International Loop, which is red on the left, white, blue, and then red again. Personally, I think Apple could have done it a little differently. Now, these bands, I believe, were actually planned to be released in 2020 with the Olympics, but they did get delayed till 2021, so we do have them now. But still, this is a great color band, a great looking band. It really complements any outfit that has one or two colors and you kind of want to have a little bit of a pop to. Then we have my last band, Sea Salt, which great band. When Apple released this, I wanted to get it. I didn't. I waited to get it, and then I had a, and then I got it later on, actually on clearance, which I thought was nice because I didn't have to break the bank and spend fifty dollars on this one. But still, love the band, love the color. I like the hint of yellow and blue. It has it kind of reminds me of summer, and it's. it's it's really great. You know, this one will class up any outfit. Now, I don't know if you've been keeping track, but I have a lot of bands. According to Bandbrite, 21. Now, I might not have shown you all of them because I do have some from my 38mm Apple Watch Original and Series 2 that I no longer wear because starting with the Series 3, I decided to get the 42mm, which is really where all this band collecting has started. So, you know, Al Apple did this, not me. I, I just went and bought the bands. But you can never go wrong with having too many options, in my opinion. And also, if you track all your bands in Bandbrite, let me know how many you have with a comment down below. And while you're down there, if you want to do me a favor, subscribe, hit that like button. If you like the video, like the content I'm producing. Um, also, if you want to give me feedback, you I want to I want to know what you're looking for. If you have questions, put them down there. I'll try my best to help you. I might make a video about it. We'll see. But remember, today's a good day to make a great day, and I'll talk to you in the next one. Peace.